We need to get that fridge locked, don't we, Grace? We're off to Greenwich Royal Observatory today. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Yeah. That's thanks to somebody in the comments who told us to check it out because it's supposed to be really nice. Thanks for that, guys. An early morning montage. Remember last week I said I wanted to theme the vlogs more? Well, I thought of a theme for this week, and the theme for this week is vlogging. When your days are cold, your sun is rising low. Do you ever wonder what defines our notion of time? I can tell you, this line. That defines a prime meridian of the world, that line does. There you go, guys. You didn't come here just for silky montages, you came here for an education. I've come to listen while you sing When what you are feels more like what you're not When what you owe is more than what you got And the voice of reason finds you and tells you where to be I've come to tell you to be free I'm always really governed by my emotions. I'm a very, very emotional person, so if I feel sad, I feel really, really sad. If I feel happy, I feel really, really happy. People want to see a really happy family and they want to see like the happy version of me. Sometimes I feel like I can't give that to you because we're vlogging daily and that's not how I feel every day. I will be back, I'm just going through a bit of a like down period and I need to like readjust myself and just snap the hell out of it basically. When the winter falls on every word you say the reality of eating out with Grayson. <laughs> Grace is bitching because he basically sees a scooter or a bike and then he just goes to try and steal it. So we take him away and then he goes crazy about it. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> nah. Off he goes to try and get that bike again. He's at that such an awkward age right now. Anyone who has like a 15, 16 month old is gonna know what I'm talking about. Oof, Jesus. There's no word for this right now, but it's awful. It's really hard. when the tears are in your eye. And I have come to listen while you cry. I have come to give you this goodbye. When you're walking into clouds you can't see through When the windows and the walls conspire against you When there's nobody to listen, is there something still to say? And I'm here to tell you it's okay To be honest, it's quite a welcome respite because he's very, very, very hard work at the moment. Aren't you in trouble? You may look nice and cute in the morning, but little do you know, as soon as the camera turns off, there's a lot of screaming. I think he's going through um, what they call a leap, where obviously like developmental changes and learning about the world, which usually comes hand in hand with being an absolute monster and not sleeping very well. Which is also happening, isn't it? <laughs> it's here, Coney. We 
have just had a delivery which I am so super excited about opening. That is beautiful, I'm so excited. I think, I don't know if I've ever been this excited about anything I've ever owned before. Gracie and I are just gonna kill some time in the park for half an hour before his nap. I thought I'd get Gracie out the house while Steph is setting up the coffee machine because Gracie's like obviously into everything and he'll tantrum if he can't touch certain bits of it and stuff, so just easier. Cue the park that everyone's seen a million times. post office to post some makeup bags. I will see you later, my darling. Have I got everything? Keys, phone, bank card, post. I think I got it. <laughs> People in the post office actually hate me because it's obviously the end of bank holiday and everyone's posting stuff and I've just <laughs> left them with a load of makeup bags. So yeah. And in 30 seconds we sit out, we should have our first delicious cup of coffee. I love that noise. So I'm gonna pour that into there. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yes. Isn't that, that's amazing. I'm so happy we've got this. Do you know what? Grayson woke me up three times last night, so this is very welcome in my life right now. Yeah, I'm so happy right now. This is like, my productivity levels are just gonna go so much higher. Yes. Let's do this day, Mitchell App, let's do it. Yeah, woo woo! Bye Gracie, have fun at nursery. Bye bye daddy. Give me a kiss. Mm. Oh, you tease, you tease. <laughs> have fun mister, be good. Don't catch anything. Yeah, don't catch any germs. Don't please. breathe near anyone. Okay. Right, I love you. Bye. Hi, honey. See you in a bit. You too. Bye, bye. We are going to quickly go into Shoreditch to meet Jack for a bite to eat and then whiz back. We've got to pick up Grace in about two hours, so yeah, gotta be quick. Let's go. The most common question I ever get asked about vlogging is why do you do it? And it's actually a really, really good question. And it's also a question that every creator and every vlogger out there should really ask themselves before they ever pick up a camera and start filming themselves. Establishing your why dictates everything that you will go on to do. If your why is notoriety, then you'll go off in one direction. If your reason is money, then you'll go off in another direction. Whatever your reason is will dictate the content that you make. Although we film every day, we only put it out once a week. We'd make a lot more money if we did it every day, but we don't do it for money. We try not to do many tag videos or, or collaboration videos because we're not doing it to get bigger. We like being small. Growth serves ego and might make you some more money, but ego and the money, that's just not, that doesn't interest us as much as creating something for Gracie that has integrity. Come to get Gracie. You guys know the drill by now. Three, two, one, Gracie! Hello! Grayson can't say, I don't want this. So the effort that we put into producing videos to the standard that we produce them are to dignify the fact that Grayson doesn't have a choice in this. All of these decisions that we've made and everything I've said is all embedded in the reason why we're doing this for him. Everything. The theme of this week being vlogging, I just kind of wanted to talk a bit about the most important part for us. The foundation of everything. The reason why.
6 a.m. Wake up. <laughs> Morning guys, Gracie and I are out and about already. He decided to wake me up at 6 a.m. this morning which was a bit of a shock to the system. I think he's going through a sleep regression thing because I have a friend who has a baby a little bit older who is also doing the same thing. We are on a baby date this morning with my friend Antonia and her baby Lumen. It is Gracie's nap time technically because he woke up early, but we're gonna power through. I brought lots of bribery with me. I've got popcorn, it's his favorite. Look what's happened. He is gonna scream when I have to take him indoors. I've been waiting for this day to happen now for about a year and a half because it was about a year and a half ago that a friend of mine sent me a link. A link to a website that for the first time showed me one of these. I contacted the company straight away and I said, please take my money, I need this in my life, when can I get one? They weren't available to buy at the time, so they just said, just follow us on Facebook and we'll let you know when they come out. I kept hassling them and my persistence paid off and they eventually, about a couple of weeks ago, sent me a message saying, we have a couple of demo models, do you want us to send you one to demo, to try out and let's know what you think? I almost cried, I was like, yes, please, yes, so much. Okay, I'll tell you what it is. It's basically a long board with a baby carrier on it. It's gonna change the world. It's not gonna change the world, but it's gonna, ch it's not gonna change anything but it's gonna make me really happy for the next few weeks. So I'm gonna take you guys, I'm gonna take Coney, I'm gonna take Gracie, and we're all gonna go down to Clapham Park and take it out for its first spin. We're just on our way now to pick up Gracie's helmet for the longboard stroller. If you've watched us for a while, you will know, you will know, no, no. you'll know <laughs> that Steph is like an avid board fan, be it a skateboard, a snowboard, any kind of board. So yeah. a pram with a board means that he can board with Gracie. So it's like the perfect gift for you. It is so hot in here. That's probably why I always make you board. That was good. That How was long were you really thinking good. about that, that was, for? Uh, Quite a while, a couple of months. <laughs> We've let Gracie come to the park to run free after his hectic afternoon. Gracie, don't eat that! This pretty much makes having a baby all worth it. This buggy. No joke, it's like makes everything worth it. All the early mornings, the crying, the poo, everything. Six. Such a man thing. <laughs> I've literally never seen stuff this happy. You were the wind that carried me back to the shore where I Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs>
You didn't pee? Oh no. Oh no. No no. No no. Thought it looked like a nice spot. Nice clean spot to do a poo. It's what everyone wants, right? Morning guys, Gracie's going for a haircut this afternoon but he has decided this morning to dump all of his porridge on top of his head. Yeah, let me show everybody your hair. Anyway, I'm gonna go and run him a bath, I think. Uh, yeah, let's get you in the bath. Gracie and I are off on another play date this morning. We're going to soft play. You can say bye to Daddy. Daddy is deep into an edit. Have a great time at the post office. You have a great time at soft play. You guys have fun watching the vlog. We're off. I'm letting Gracie listen to some nursery rhymes. This is my life now. Keep them quiet. Let's go, buddy. Falling over myself. We're off to go and get Gracie's first ever proper haircut this afternoon. Steph kind of lopped it all off a couple of weeks ago. If any of you remember that, I was so upset about it. So we're going to go and get it tidied up a bit today. Yeah, it's beginning to hurt me too, just like... Are you excited about your haircut? Yeah. We just parked up outside <laughs> Gracie's hairdressers. And we realised there's an antique market next door. We get excited about antique market. I know. Oh. It is sad. There's one right next to us as well with a really cute little vintage bench, which I'm thinking would look nice on our balcony. I used to get excited about going to like Clubs. all night raves. And... Yeah. Now look at us. I've got a semi over an antique market. Oh, so. Stefan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, so young, so young. So you're throwing your life away. So you could be a wife at play Where's the girl I used to know? Where's the girl I used to love? I'm not done, I'm not done I'm not done loving you I'm not done, I'm not done I'm not done loving you And it seems like you've changed In a permanent way I'm not done Night, Gracie. Good night. Give me a kiss. Yeah. 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 Come on, give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. I got one. Good night, Grace. I love you. <laughs> Grace is in bed. Tony's cooking dinner. I'm working on the edit. I need a break, so I'm going to go down to Tesco's and grab a nice bottle of Pinot Grigio just to relax with. Might stick my GoPro to my skateboard for the way down. Should I do it? Let's go. Ha 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 ha!
Editing to do is ridiculous. <sighs> Let's get on with this. Gracie and I are going to head to the park, I think. <laughs> He's so cute. He's been so nice the last few days and now I feel bad for like saying at the beginning of the week oh he's terrorizing me he's at a really difficult stage he is at a really difficult stage he's turning the dishwasher off look oi is that why it didn't clean last time he goes through like peaks and troughs where he'll be really really lovely and then the next day he'll be an absolute terror so luckily we're having a couple of peak days let's get it the park bubba a different part of the park today it's not very interesting for him it's like a little like a little garden with loads of flowers and herbs and things in it it's really cute so we're gonna have a little walk around here because everything in the playground is quite wet so I think yeah it's unwise to get Grace now but at least we're out of the house pretty flowers uh-oh Grace <laughs> good boy don't eat it no You gotta put your head up. Mummy put her head up too, look. <sighs> Yay! Oh. See, no! Come here! Grayson! Uh -oh. Stop it! Oh my god! Oh my god. We're home! We got rained off, which is a shame because I really wanted to get out this afternoon. But at least we went for a little walk, I suppose. Grayson is obsessed with those drawers down there. I put them in his bedroom, but I haven't actually sorted out what was in them before. Have you got a pair of sunglasses? Look how Widgie's sitting, because he's trying to get away from Grayson. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise Gracie will just crawl up there and get to him. <laughs> I am taking some pictures in my kitchen because I'm doing a blog post on one of my favourite smoothies but the kitchen is so like masculine because there's coffee machines and blenders and stuff everywhere that I've had to kind of make like a mini set to make it look pretty on my blog because I don't really want like a big old Vitamix in the background or like big ugly bread bin so this is my little set this little area here I thought some peonies would make it look a bit more like a country kitchen and not a dirty old London kitchen this is my little plan of photos that I wanted to take for this blog post I don't normally do that but I found that it worked really well actually so I might do that again next time Done, you got to the end. Yay! <laughs> Ooh. 
congratulations. Another vlog over. <laughs> I always feel like it's just like when I've got the like the vlog uploaded to YouTube, it's like a massive like weight off my shoulders. The worst thing you can say to me, by the way, is can't wait for next already week. Already looking forward to next week, and I'm like, oh please don't say that. Don't but say that. on that note, Steph and I have decided to take a week off vlogging next week. Don't be mad, don't be mad. <laughs> we obviously love doing this, but we also need a bit of time with just us yeah not filming just and for our family and for our relationship just yeah. to have a week without sticking cameras in each other's faces for the whole week we don't ever have time off and this will be our first time off although it won't be time off because i'll be working on other stuff but it's just yeah there's like one less thing to one less on. thing to worry about because the, yeah these edits yeah. are getting ridiculous ridiculous now uh, my own fault because i've just want to make them nicer each week but yeah that just means it's a lot of work we wouldn't be able to do it without you so thank you yeah. so much for everyone who supports us buying makeup bags using want feed because without you guys doing those couple of things we wouldn't be able to do this we wouldn't be able to and do we love doing this we love this and we want to do this for, for years to come so yeah. thank you we are going to put up a video for next week when we're not vlogging so you've still got something to watch you can still hang out with us on sunday it's just not going to be our normal yeah. vlog but it's only this once so you have to forgive us and yeah. you have to let us have a week off i'm sure you understand yeah. yeah yeah i have a blog post as usual i feel like i sit here every single week and i'm like go and read my blog you bitches but yeah, go and read my blog, bitches. <laughs> I'll link it down below. It's a smoothie post. I've turned into a smoothie wanker, clearly. <laughs> you are such a smoothie wanker. I want to say a massive thank you to Quinny, who sent me the board buggy, long board, long board buggy. buggy buggy board what well, i don't know really what the term. hybrid skateboard yeah. fram yeah loveness that you love <laughs> thank you so much for sending that to me i love it i will be doing a review on the board buggy coming up soon so keep your eyes peeled for that bad boy you had a go as well didn't you i did I had not a little, with grayson in it. i had a little go without grayson in it because i'm not a skateboarder do people, i look like a skateboarder to you you do actually yeah. <laughs> should i wear some vans yeah. you got that <laughs> shabby look skateboarders wear vans people kept coming up to me and being like oh is this is your invention and i was like yeah, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. That was amazing. Thanks. Anyway. It's so funny going out with that um, longboard buggy though because you see men perv on it. And normally when you go out with a push chair, women always perv on each other's prams. Mm. Like just what we do, like yeah. what we like doing. Never seen a man perv on a pram before, but I have now. Right, we finally got to the end now. We're just blabbing. <laughs> Thanks for all your comments. Genuinely read them all. Thank you for watching and we will see you, we'll kind of see you next week, but really we'll see you the week after. Yeah. We love you. Bye. Bye. These literally outros do make me hate myself. Like when I- Yeah, I hate doing <laughs> them. There's your wallet thing, look. Oh yes. We always find, we had a pound last week, and a wallet this week, which is great. Yeah, at least something uh, productive comes up. That <laughs> shows you always find something you've lost. Yeah. Right then. Right then. Oh, God. I love you so much. Sometimes I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs>